coming students today we are going to demonstrate on how to use our Casio calculator this time in one is plus calculator to take the readings for normal distribution probabilities from z value now there is a limitation to the data that we have been provided what are those two limitations one is that it never provides the probability for the right side of any particular z value Second limitation is that it does not entertain any particular negative Z value for any probability. But we, I still urge you to use this table for these particular tricks will help you verify your answers. For example, if I were to find, I wanted to find probability by finding the Z value of one point and I wanted the probability when z is less than or equal to 1.23. How do I do that? First thing, we go to mode, we select start, and then we press all clear. When we again press shift, we go into the start mode, we select distribution, and from there we select the speed, and we just write the z value, which is 1.23 in this case. When we press equal to, and it gives us the probability, which is 0 0.89065. Obviously, I'm telling you to use this method just for verification purposes. And if you were to read this value from your table, your z value is 1.2 and this is 0.8906. Obviously, there is a bit of differences, but when you surround it off, the value will also be 0.8907. So this value can be found using the calculator. Okay, now there are three things that you can do. One is P, the other is Q, and the other is R. What does R give you? So if you wanted to find out, same thing, you have your Z value. You have already figured that out. And again, let me use the same word value so that you can understand. 1.23. And now you wanted to find the probability between 1.23 and the mean. So this is the probability that you want to find out. How can you do that? Obviously, it's very easy to subtract from 0 0.5, but the calculator gives you that option to you go to distribution and then you select Q. You write the same value 1.23. You'll get the value which is 0 0.3907. Obviously, that entire value and minus 0 0.5, which is half the probability. And you get the probability that it's two between your particular z value and your mean. Similarly, the third is R. What does that give you? The same thing, okay? I'll just put it a different color. R will give you this blue probability. So if you select from distribution, you select R and you write the same value, which is 1.23, you can use the probability on the right hand side, which is 0 0.1094 or 0 0.1095. The only downside is that this gives you the value for it to four or uh, five significant figures on the other hand, the probability that you have in your table are correct to four decimal places. So that this gives you the values correct to five decimal places. So this is something that you need to be careful for. You can use this to verify your answers. Another thing that we can do in this is that we can write the probabilities for minus 1.3 and it will give us the value even for the negative values of Z. So this is something that we must be careful with once you start playing with this well enough, you will understand that how does it give you any particular value. So it gives you the values for the negative Z values as well. P will give you for any particular values, we check the entire probability. Q will give you the probability between your particular value and the mean. And R will give you the probability on the right side of your particular Z values. That's it for today. Obviously, there is another method to round off, round this off in your calculator, but that is for some other time. Office.